besides being the famous guitarist from the Rolling Stones. Keith Richards is a powerful gentleman who has built a real empire throughout his career. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this star lives? In this video you will find out all about the luxurious life of Keith Richards. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag all about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1943 in Dartford, England, Keith Richards is a great singer, songwriter and guitarist who achieved great fame as a member of the band The Rolling Stones. During his childhood, Keith got his first guitar from his grandfather and since then, the instrument has become his great passion. He met his talented colleague Mick Jagger in primary school and they formed the amateur band Little Boy Blue and the Blue Boys after meeting again years later. The rock group went through changes until it gave way to the Rolling Stones, who signed a contract with the Decca Records label in 1963. In addition to being the guitar player, songwriting and doing back vocals on all of the band's productions, Richards also sings some songs as lead singer. With the rebellious behavior linked to the counterculture movement, young people quickly gain space, especially with the success of the songs, I Can't Get No, Satisfaction, Stupid Girl and Sympathy for the Devil. Without a doubt, the Rolling Stones is one of the most successful musical groups in history, which has sold over 250 million albums worldwide. In 2022, they celebrated the 60th anniversary of the band's creation, which holds the title of the oldest rock group still active. In parallel to this, Keith has also invested in his solo career and other work with other artists. Today, at 78 years old, with the wealth he has already amassed, Richards can enjoy a fairly quiet life. Holiday Home Keith Richards likes tranquility, which is why he owns a luxurious holiday home located on Parrot Cay in the Turks and Caicos Islands, a territory known for its scenic surroundings, ideal for those looking for a lovely place to live. The singer's home is 3,400 square feet and has a dining room with a wooden table, which is next to the living room with views to the outside. The compact kitchen has modern appliances, while the house also has three luxurious bedrooms and a large bathroom with double sinks. Outside, the property has a wooden deck, an outdoor dining table and an infinity pool to enjoy the sunny weather, besides being a few steps from the sea, containing a private area on the beach, which makes the place similar to a real resort. According to some sources, Keith Richards' home may be rented out for an estimated $8,107 per night. Cars In addition to Keith Richards being passionate about four-wheeled vehicles, he has a number of stories involving his driving. One of his favorite cars remained in his garage for 35 years, it is his Ferrari 400i from 1983, a vehicle with a quite common look, but equipped with a V12 engine. Despite its long time of use, the car had low mileage, which allowed it to be auctioned for 345,000 euros. Another special Ferrari of the guitarist is the 1972 model Dino 246 GT, which served as his transport to concerts across America, since Richards went to great lengths to avoid traveling by plane. This Ferrari was auctioned in 2018 for $560,000. The artist ended up having an accident while sleeping at the wheel with his Bentley S3 Continental Flying Spur 1965 nicknamed Blue Lena. Luckily, none of the seven passengers were seriously injured, and the vehicle remained intact, as it was auctioned in 2015 for an impressive $947,000. In another episode, while driving a 1947 Mercedes-Benz convertible, Keith lost control and crashed the vehicle, being thrown out of it, but miraculously nothing serious happened. Other Transport Keith Richards has access to other luxurious means of transportation. When it comes to private aircraft, the musical group The Rolling Stones have already made use of a few planes to perform their travels and concerts around the world. One of the models they used to use was a Boeing 737, which was not modified internally, retaining the standard 68 business class seats. After that, they upgraded to a larger aircraft, a Boeing 767 which was wrapped on the outside with the music group's logo. 
both planes released and can cost them around $25,000 per flight hour. Keith rented a 145-foot luxury yacht for his family to go on the high seas during a trip to Sydney, Australia. The model in question is a Benetti Sovereign capable of accommodating up to 12 people in the five luxurious cabins, most notably the primary suite with king-size bed and private bathroom with a jacuzzi. Some amenities in the yacht include an upper deck that offers an intimate outdoor dining area, a bar area, a barbecue station and a luxury hot tub with surrounding sun loungers. And to rent that vessel for a week, you have to fork out about $350,000. Properties Keith Richards is a great rock star who has some impressive real estate. One of the properties the singer owns is known as the Redlands, a house of historic architecture in West Wittering, in the county of Sussex, which is in southwest England. Since the 1960s, the singer has spent a lot of time at this rustic-style property, as it's a great country retreat for a big rock star like him. And according to media reports, Keith Richards bought the property in 1966 for £313,000. It is speculated that the star has also already rented a mansion in Canada, located on Dalton Drive in the city of Mississauga. The 10,000-square-foot mansion was built in the 1970s and has rustic stone architecture on the exterior walls. Upon entering the place, one notices that the composition of the rooms follows an octagonal format, which make the property more sophisticated and different from others. Among the main spaces of the mansion are a living room and a kitchen with a marble countertop in the center, which integrates a dining area for four people. The mansion also has five bathrooms and five very spacious bedrooms, some of which have fireplaces for the cold days, in addition to having other rooms that are filled with luxury to the smallest details. Outside, meanwhile, the mansion sits on a 2.3-acre lot that sits in close proximity to the Credit River and features a well-kept lawn. The place also has a covered patio with a swimming pool, ideal for leisure days with family and friends. According to rumors, Keith Richards was paying $40,000 weekly rent on the property, until in 2012 the mansion was listed for $6,800,000. Raising the price up further, the singer once had a duplex apartment at the 1 Fifth Avenue condo in Greenwich Village. The 2,700-square-foot penthouse has a light-colored design, in addition to having hardwood floors and well-lit rooms thanks to all the glass windows, from which one can contemplate the city from different angles. The modern living room is 47 square feet while the clean kitchen features glass doors that lead onto a balcony and integrates a formal dining setting. On the second level, there is another living room for sophisticated bathrooms and three charming terraces that offer privileged views of Manhattan. The place also has a laundry room, a private office and four modern bedrooms, with the master suite being very spacious, integrating a private bathroom and two closets full of shelves, which are perfect for storing luxury items. According to media reports, Keith Richards sold the property for $9,995,000, despite having bought it in 2014 for $10,500,000. Another residence the singer once owned was Villa Nelcote, a stunning mansion that is in French territory, located on a green-covered plot of land that slopes down to the sea. The neoclassical architecture mansion was built in 1899, and this is the property where the Rolling Stones' album Exile on Main Street was recorded. The inside of the place is full of luxury and dates back to the time of its construction, while the outside has a large pool and some balconies to enjoy the scenery. According to media reports, Villa Nelcote was last sold in 2005 for an incredible 100 million euros. In addition to all these properties, Keith Richards' main home is in the town of Weston, Connecticut, in the United States, and although it has a large library, there are few internal records of the property, although it appears to be quite comfortable. Deluxe Guitars If there's one thing Keith doesn't skimp on when it comes to spending, it's guitars, after all, it's his work instrument and his greatest passion. The artist has already said that he has a large collection of approximately 3,000 guitars of different models and brands, which together must be worth a real fortune. One of his most iconic ones, for being played for over 50 years by the star, is his Macalber, a 1950s Telecaster. However, his 1952 Gibson SJ Southern Jumbo Sunburst acoustic guitar that was shot during a raging episode has been put up for auction receiving a starting bid of $100,000. But, without a doubt, Richard's most valuable guitar is his 1959 Les Paul which was used on stage at the Rolling Stones' debut concert. It is considered the seventh most expensive guitar in the world, sold at auction in 2003 for $1 million. Personal Life 
Keith Richards is a rock star who has always had his personal life under the media spotlight. Unlike his colleague Mick Jagger who has always been a womanizer, the guitarist has had two long romances throughout his life. His first relationship was with the Italian actress Anita Pollenberg. The young woman had already been romantically involved with his bandmate Brian Jones, which caused some discomfort among the members of the Rolling Stones. Anita and Richard stayed together from 1967 until 1979 and had three children together, the late Tara Joe Joe Gunn, Marlon Leon Sundeep and Angela Richards. In the same year of the divorce, the guitarist met the model Patty Hansen. In 1983, on Keith's 40th birthday, they officially married and subsequently had two daughters, Theodora and Alexandra. They are together to this day becoming one of rock and roll's most enduring couples. Another aspect about Richard's personal life is his drug use. After all, he has stamped countless headlines for his notorious illegal substance abuse and his consequent arrests. In 2016, the star stated that he still drinks alcohol occasionally and also consumes cannabis. Net worth there's no doubt that the Rolling Stones are one of the most successful rock bands in the world, and with such resounding success for almost 60 years of existence, it's clear that the great guitarist and songwriter Keith Richard has made a lot of money. The group has released 23 albums and sold over 250 million copies worldwide, and from this number alone you can imagine how much they've profited. But without a doubt, the Rolling Stones' biggest source of income is their concerts. They are always leading the ranking of the world's most lucrative tours, like in 2018, when they totaled approximately $117 million, according to Forbes magazine. And even despite the pandemic and the loss of the drummer Charlie Watts, with the No Filter Tour, the group grossed $115 million in 2021 with just 12 shows. The most profitable tour was a Bigger Bang Tour, which lasted from 2005 to 2007, earning an impressive $558 million, being the fourth highest grossing tour of all time, behind only Ed Sheeran, U2 and Gun and Rolls. To get an idea of the empire that the Rolling Stones have built, some sources estimate that the group's total net worth is at $1,450,000,000. Meanwhile, Keith Richards' personal wealth includes his production and co-production credits in projects with other artists, his roles as an actor in films such as in Pirates of the Caribbean, in addition to the successful book sales, such as his autobiography Life, which earned him an upfront fee of $7 million at the time. Taking into consideration all of the guitarist's sources of income, his net worth is estimated at $500 million. Not bad, right? Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it all about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.